Good morning and welcome to Whiling Away the Hours with me. This is Martha, my beautiful Hi. assistant. Um, and today's story will be actually from um, his head. So we're just making it up as we go along, really. Um, but one thing, if you see the wolf. A wolf. A wolf. Check them. He he's just up to mischief. So he thinks that he's been hard done by. We know the truth. He's in trouble. Bad. Don't listen to him. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly get some books organised. Martha, do you want to show the, the oh, daffodils we were collecting yesterday? Oh, Sorry. Hey, hey. What was that? I, I think I heard. Did you hear something? I think it was a wolf. Right. Well, you just keep a wee eye. And you guys at home, if you see him, get them told. Boo! Okay. Right. So I was thinking tomorrow we might use this story or this story. What did it? Right. I'm going to have to go and get that wolf. All right. So just, you guys just hang on. Martha, I'll keep you amused. It's fine. Um, she might tell you about tomorrow's story, but I'm just going to go and catch him. Where, which way did he go? I think he went that way. Right. Okay. I'm going to head out and get him. Right. Wolfie! So, Wolfie. today's story, so, well, tomorrow's story is going Oi, to people. be this story. Oh, what was he world. saying? It's He's a liar. Boo, Don't listen to her. Boo, Don't listen to her. They're trouble. She's trouble. Go, get, get, get. I'm a nice wolf. They were all being horrible to me. And those little boo, piggies were just boo, trouble. Right, right. Boo. Right, what's happening? What, what's all the boon the about? Wolf what do you mean? Oh, get away. I was out the I, I just went out that way. It never came past me. Well, must be a magic wolf. Okay, but remember if you see the wolf. Boo. boo. So. Once upon a time, three little pigs lived in a little house with their mummy pig. And one day, mummy pig said to the little piggies, Little pigs, little pigs, you're getting too big for my house. You need to go and build your own house. So the three little piggies said, Oh, all right, mum, no bother, ah, that's fine. I'm going to give you some money and you can go and buy the materials you'll need to build your house. So she gave... The three little piggies, four pounds each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And she sent them on their way. Bye, bye, boys. I love you. Bye. So the three little piggies walked off down the road and they came to the first shop. And they met a man in the shop. And the man said, straw for sale. Best quality straw. Two pounds. Two pounds for straw. Get your money away, please. So, the first little piggy said, I'll take a, a big full wheelbarrow of straw, please. I'm going to build my house. Is that, is that a good idea, using straw for a house? Oh, oh, yes. Best quality straw, this. Absolutely. Top notch. No problem. So, the first little piggy paid his money and went off with his wheelbarrow of straw. And then he poured it out and he built his walls up. Can you help me build the walls up? And then he built the roof along the top and a nice wee door. And he went inside and had a wee cup of tea. So the other two piggies waved by. See you later. He built it a straw. Well, that's so silly piggy. He's built a straw. I'm not going to build mine a straw. Because I'm clever. So the second little piggy, who'd just been showing off, he decided to stop at the next shop and he knocked on the door and said hello I, I'm trying to build a house do you have anything good for house building oh yes 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 I've got a uh, wood lots of wood big planks of wood little planks of wood long planks of wood short planks of wood very good wood oh great well could I buy enough wood to build a small house please just for me just for one little piggy so he says at three pounds please so she pays, he pays his three pounds and he gets his wood and he carts it off quite close to his brother's house and he um, he starts to build his house. So he builds the walls out of wood. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, and he builds the roof out of wood. Bang, 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 bang. And then a nice wee door. Bang, 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 bang. And then he goes inside and he has a wee cup of tea. So the third piggy walks on and thinks to herself, ha, silly boys, <laughs> built their house out of straw and wood. Uh-huh, yeah, I'm not daft. So, the third little piggy, she decides to go to the builder's merchants down the road 
And she says, hello there, I'd like some bricks to build my house, please. I'll be four pounds, love, four pounds for your bricks, dog. Cheers now, thank you. There you go, no change for you. So, the third little piggy starts to build her wall. And then she builds a roof and then a lovely wee door. She goes inside, she puts a pot on the fire and she boils up some water for a wee cup of tea. Now, the three little piggies lived happily, happily ever after? No, happy for a while. And they lived quite close to each other, so they would play outside together. They would pop in for wee cups of tea and cakes and all that kind of stuff. Now then, one day, they heard a very scary noise. Ow! <gasps> What's that? said the three little piggies. They looked at each other and said, It must be the big bad wolf mummy talks about. So they ran back into their houses, slammed the door shut. Just in time for the first little piggy heard a knock at the door. Brilliant. Hello? Little pig, little pig, please let me in. Oh, no, no, we can't let you in. No, I'm a bit scared, thanks. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. That's right. Well, the big bad wolf said, well, if that's right, I'm going to huff. I'm going to puff. <gasps> and I'm going to blow your ass down. <sighs> so, as he huffed and puffed, the house started to wibble and wobble and the straw started to fall down. And the first little piggy ran as fast as he could to the second little piggy's house. Now, the second little piggy said, it's all right, don't worry, my house made of wood, big solid house, no problem. Come on in. So they sat down to wait for the wolf. And then the next second, they heard a big knock at the door. <gasps> little pig, little pig, please let me in. No, not by the hair on our chinny chin chin. We won't let you in. Go away. Well, the big bad wolf was not going to go away. So he huffed <gasps> and he puffed <gasps> and he... <gasps> blew the wooden house down. So the two little piggies had to run to the third little piggy's house and quickly got inside and they said, oh no, the big bad wolf's coming, he's going to eat us up. He blew my house down, he blew your house down. Ah! So the third little piggy said, listen, don't you worry, my house is made of bricks. It's well solid, good quality. And then she put a wee pan of water on the fire. And she said, listen, just relax. We're going to have a wee cup of tea. Everything will be okay. So the two little piggies said, okay, sis, no problem. No problem at all. And then they heard a big knock at the door. <gasps> little pig, little pig, please let me in. And the little piggy said, no! the hair on my chinny chin chin we won't let you in go away well the wolf by this point was getting hungry tired and a little bit miffed so he huffed and he puffed and he he blew with all his might but still the house did not fall down so the wolf says, right, that's it. I'm coming in. So he climbed up the walls of the house, quiet as a little mouse. And he creeped along the roof, quiet as a little mouse. And he climbed up onto the chimney stack. And he had a little evil giggle to himself. <laughs> <laughs> and the piggies heard that. Oh, he's on the roof, quick! And they looked at the fire and there was a big pan of water starting to bubble. Get me. And the wolf said, oh, I'm coming in! And he went to jump down the chimney.
Ow! Ow! The wolf had burnt his bottom on the hot water. And he jumped out of the chimney and ran as fast as he could to the woods. And the wolf was never seen again. And the three little piggies settled down for a nice wee cup of tea and a party. And they all lived happily ever, ever after. after. Can I just give a special big clap to Martha and Katie for their help? Martha, darling, you didn't need to do that just now. A big clap for you two. Well done. Goodbye to peoples. Great. Okay, so that was our wee story from ahead. Um, we will please again give me feedback. Was that better than listening to one from a storybook? Was it more annoying? Blah blah blah. And then if you liked it, well, maybe do that maybe once or twice a week um, at least. And we'll do something like maybe Jack and the Beanstalk, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, Cinderella, uh, classics like that. Okay. Much love to you all. Stay safe. Stay inside. As much as it makes you feel really white. All right, cheer bye. Bye.